there was a very big update about two days ago and I want to go over it a little bit with you all and cover some of the awesome stuff in this update. Starting off in this update there's two new events. One is a memorial to one of our own Mr. Storm Cruiser passed away recently and now there is an in-game memorial to last forever and there's a limited time event associated with it you can get a few different cosmetics and other things there we will miss you brother you're a really really awesome dude never got to talk to travis a whole whole lot but he was a really really good dude and he will be missed there was also a tiktok shorts competition that went on for a bit and it went really well so now there's an in-game event because of it that's really cool have to check that out some there's bank changes a bunch of bank QLs, some really nice stuff there there's the ability to view equipment screen and bank now small button in the top right corner next to the x you can now view all your rune coin items in the bank just simply by clicking a button and it'll show all the items in your bank that you can possibly rune coin really cool feature bank screen now stretches its height and resizable you can now right click items in your inventory while banking to select their main options like equip eat drink etc the deposit all button in the bank will now auto deposit all your items in your looting bag straight to your bank and the bag itself that's nice we were having to like deposit the inventory then deposit the looting bag then deposit the looting bag item itself it was a few extra steps before but it won't be that anymore loadout qols loadout slots extended new loadout booster item added to donor shop for 2k tickets Ooh, we can have more max loadouts now that's really cool Loadouts can now be shifted up or down the list. They can be copied or pasted, styled with colors and a variety of icons. The max character size of a loadout name has been increased, and the loadout interface no longer closes when you click Setup. Hell yeah, that's some really awesome stuff. There's now loadout sharing as well. You can purchase a specimen brush for 100 mil from the general store, and when you use the brush on a player, you can share the loadout copied to your clipboard with them. Copied via the loadout menu. If they choose to accept the loadout, it will be set to their clipboard where they can paste it to a loadout slot. There are new hotkeys in game. Another really cool feature. We can hit Control H to teleport home real quick. Control T to teleport to your last used teleport. Control L to open loot trackers. Another new feature added in game. Control C to open collection logs. And press 1, 2, or 3 while the training tellies menu is open to select a respective quick telly. Pretty cool stuff bank menu there's also some shortcuts for that right here gear changes there's a buff on both sets of shazian increased inquisitor mace damage against nightmare fixed inquisitor blessing bonus dark vorpal pvm defense strain increased from 10 percent to 25 percent and magic increased to 15 percent so that staff's a little bit more useful in pvm now abyssal gloves boost increased from 10 percent to 15 percent accuracy and damage with abyssal weapons that's a nice little part of the update for early and mid game players abyssal gloves already were pretty decent now they'll be even better nightmare and terror changes there was a night terror death rework now you must pay a 10 bill flat fee instead of losing all your items it's a really cool change to night terror i think a lot of people before were a little intimidated by the fact that if you die there you're gonna lose all of your items you're only gonna keep one good item there now people will bring more risk, they'll bring better items, and have a more fun time, I think, at Terror. Less of a risk there, I think, will be a better thing overall for everyone, so I do enjoy that change. It's a nice change, I think. Night Terror kill count requirement reduced from 100 to 50. It's another nice change. We're going to see more people at Night Terror. It's a really fun, really profitable boss, so that's really cool to see. Nightmare global countdown reduced from 3 minutes to 30 seconds. That's pretty sweet. Buffed uncommons and rares on Nightmare Global Drop Table. Some are better than Group Nightmare, some are worse. Added Divine Shards to bags and sacks of riches on Common Table, Uncommon Table, and Rare Table in varying amounts. That's really fucking cool, so now we have a new way to get Divine Shards. Nightmare Daily Changes, Epic Bonus Chest increased from 1 to 3, Sack of Token increased from 1 to 2. Reduced Regular Nightmare Starting HP. Reduced Terror Base HP. And the MVP system is enabled from groups of 3 plus now instead of just groups of 5. Hell yeah, we've been wanting that change for a while too, so that's really cool to see. Now we can have MVP in smaller groups. Group activities and minigame changes. Whole bunch of nice QOL changes here. New edition of the Karazi Accumulator. 1 out of 50 drop from Nastarul. I guess there's some other new drops possibly at Nastarul too? Not sure on that. Nastarul fight was also made a little bit more difficult. Home fight was made easier. Narda is a little bit better now. There is a lot of nice changes in this update. 
A lot of good QOL. Really, really good stuff overall. Happy to see this update. Next changes. Harbringer next fight added. There was a superior next added now. One out of 100 chance to spawn from killing next, including instances. It's a really awesome change that we've all been hoping for for a while. It's going to make next a bit more tolerable of a grind. A bit better loot whenever we can get there and get lucky at the superior, so this is awesome. There's some fight changes. The boss is going to be a little bit more difficult. See the changes right here. Drop table is better. There's now chance for elite components as well as Torva components. Really fucking awesome for people on the Crest Torva grind. There's a Harbringer next pet. This pet gives 15% spell damage and 10% curse boost. It's basically like the old next pet. The old next pet was nerfed a little bit. So that's really cool. New next pet in the game. I'm sure it'll look really fucking awesome too. Next fight tickets added. This will allow players to bypass the elite God War dungeon requirements for one next kill. You can also use these tickets on other players to give to them, including irons. And there's 10 next tickets given per next daily. Pretty cool. Elite God War dungeon enchant changes now require five less divine shards, but also require two next fight tickets. I guess that's for the Elite God War dungeon scroll. There's also a next hard daily that was added. Kill 15 next, and it gives 50 divine shards, 250 nihil shards, and 100 nihil dust. Loot trackers. This is one of the new features we just talked about a moment ago. If you press Control L in game or type colon colon loot, you can view the loot tracker. You can toggle on different monsters to track, and it'll do just that. You can track all the loot you get from that monster. Really cool feature. Stretch mode, a client-sided part of this update. For those of you who prefer to play in fixed mode but would prefer a bigger window, you can now try the stretch mode. This feature is in beta. You must have GPU enabled for it to work. And to activate, you just simply type colon colon stretch. Last but not least, we have other new content. A whole lot of new stuff here too. Just sneaked in at the end of this update. There's this donation voucher system that was added to the donate cart. These vouchers function as an in-name donation in item form. This is basically just to make in-name donations a little bit easier for people, so that's cool. There's this colon colon PFV command. You can view players' profiles in-game, infernal elixir stats, other stuff. Blood Amulet of Fury Ore was added. This costs 2 blood shards and 15 Amulet of Furies for a 5% chance of enchant. Infinite charges. It's a pretty cool item. Did not see that coming, but that's really fucking cool. Soul Hunter point system and weekly point shop added. That's sweet. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this update. A lot of really cool stuff for us to check out. Cursed emblems added to Revenant Rare Table. Revenant Hard Daily was added. There's also this new Mystic Titan Pet enchant that was added. It requires one of each Titan Pet, two imbue crystals, and 250 divine shards. The pet gives 12.5% accuracy in defense and 7.5% damage with melee. That's really cool. It might be our new best pet since Nex was nerfed. I'm not sure. I might be making that really soon though. It's a pretty cool pet. Pet override tokens were added to the Rune Diamond Shop. These allow you to override a specific pet with the look of another pet. Tokens consumed per use. That is really cool. So we can make any pet look like whatever other pet we want it to. Pretty neat feature. Gilded Falcon mini pet enchant was added. Requires Grand Luck Falcon and Gilded Fairy. There's a new Afflicted Chambers item. The Elder Fusion Stone was added to the Chambers Afflicted Raid Table. It's fucking sweet. Tectonic Elder Maul enchant. Requires one Elder Fusion Stone, three Elder Mauls, one Infernal Heart, and one Imbue Crystal. The Maul uses 65% special and boosts your attack speed and gives yourself and nearby allies up to six people a 30 second 7.5% damage boost. It's a really cool special. We haven't seen a special like that in game yet, one to aid and support your friends. So that, that's gonna be really interesting to see that in game. Other changes, bug fixes and QOLs. The very bottom of this update post, bunch of bug fixes and other cool stuff. Reset elixirs command now works for prize seeds. Dwarf cannons are now sent to your bank if you teleport to the wilderness, or for UIMs it's sent to your coffer. Tons of bug fixes. Cannons now work in the Vault of War, but monsters will not take damage unless you're using Amethyst Cannonballs. That's pretty cool. Fixed a few unintended safe spots there as well. Riftwalker task amounts are now increased. The Terror Pet cooldown is now displayed. That's really, really cool. I've been hoping for this feature for a long time, so I love that they added this. Divine shards are added to the currency pouch. Removed combat restriction from the currency pouch. This is fucking massive. For anyone who's doing superiors, if you have a currency pouch, you can now just pull epic luck tokens out mid-combat. You don't have to 
try and do some crazy stuff to get out of combat for a minute. Just pull those epic luck tokens right out and you're set. It's awesome. A few other cool things down here. The mysterious treasure message now glows purple if it's a regular rare and red if afflicted. That's fucking awesome. Overall, this is a really amazing update. A lot of really, really cool stuff. A lot of helpful stuff. Things that we have all asked for and been hoping for. So this is amazing. They did a really, really, really good job with this update. I love what they did with everything. Big, big thanks to our devs and staff team. New week and new wandering merchant tasks. What can we get? Zamorak bracers for the easy. It's a maybe on that one. 12 God Sword Shard 2. I do not think we have that. Good luck, the Harden Elite. Amethyst Cannonballs. We might be able to make those. I'm not sure on that. I'll have to look. I think that's at the Max Guild. And the Elite. Oceanic Robe Legs. Damn. Nothing we can just easily trade in again. Bit of a rip. Zamorak Bracers. We have six. I think we needed seven. We have 11 out of the 12 God Sword Shard 2s. And I plan on hunting the superior uh, God War Dungeon bosses on challenge mode anyways. So we could potentially get that. This does only cost 100,000 cannonballs. So we can very easily do this. And just replace it with Runex points. Not too hard at all. Um, yeah. We just gotta do that and make them. And here we go. Buying the Amethyst Cannonball Blueprint. I'm guessing it's just Amethyst plus the Cannonballs. Where's our Amethyst at? Is it something like that? Confused. Also going to replace our Cannonballs real quick by another 100,000 or so. Be set for a while. Ooh, big thanks to Fairy. You use the blueprint from Max Guild with Reg Cannonballs and the Cannonball Mold at a Furnace. All right, so we buy the Cannonball Mold from the Runex Point Shop and we use this on the Furnace. Or use the Cannonballs on the Furnace. Amethyst on the Furnace. Ooh, is that it? Was it the Amethyst? I gotta make sure I'm not sure which one worked right there. Okay, yeah, it's the Amethyst. There we go. Amethyst cannonballs are made. We can trade them in. Buy Vesta long swords for the next step. Nope. I don't think we're gonna do the rest of it. Maybe the God Sword Shard 2s, but I'm not sure on that either. Six face guards for another full rune coin exchange. I really want to save for the unyielding accessory. It's gonna be huge to have that for raids. But either way, it's going to be slow without getting good elites. So I want to open another exotic mystery box. Really want to try for that Necrotome. It'd be huge for the CM grind. Good luck. Unbound grand prize key. We are back at Afflicted Theater. Hoping to see some nice items for bond money for both this and the new account. And I just have a lot of fun raiding on here. Yay. There is another theater completed. Good luck. Ooh, potty with a rare. Ooh, we got one as well. I think we were one off. I think this is a guarantee right here. Oh, it was a purple for legs. And we pull a... Oh my god. <laughs> Good luck, Red. What are we gonna pull today? More bond money. Any rare for anyone? And we have another raid finished for anybody. Ooh, Trumbus. And Sean. Hell yeah, good luck both. Hottie with a Xenite Shard. Grazi Rapier for Trumbus. And a epic pet box. Hey, good luck on the box. Good luck, another Italy with a rare. Is it a red man? Oh, it's a purple. For the legs. Another hour of Tob completed. Good luck. Ooh, we got a reroll. Looks like no rare. 
Oh, theater box for Italy. Something. That red for a holy rapier earlier was fucking crazy, though. Really did not expect another red this soon. But we will take it. It's some decent bond money. We should be able to get, like, 70 to 90 bill for that. We have two we can sell right now. Pretty damn nice. Some late night Grandmaster Chambers. Good luck, everybody. New guarantee for a purple. What is this purple? Oh, it's a kit. Yay. <laughs> oh, man. One more key, but I am getting dead as hell tired right now. So I am going to finish this up tomorrow. Get that last key and knock out our five Grand Titans on challenge mode.